my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm super excited because I really wanted to film this for you guys. I went to Ulta the other day and I saw that NYX came out with a new foundation. This is their Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage um, Foundation. There is about 45 foundations, so I saw them all at Ulta and I was swatching every single foundation that I thought was my shade. Um, so hopefully I did a good job with this. It does have a neutral undertone. Um, I do have a little bit of a yellow um, undertone as well, but I do have other foundations that do have a neutral undertone and they've been a, a go for me. So um, I picked the color buff and now let's just pray to Jesus that it does fit me. <laughs> the foundation does run for $15 and what is really cool is that it has a pump. I am so so stoked because I love foundations that have a pump. Um, they just make it so much easier like I have my other one the Maybelline Fit Me but this one is like you have to twist off the cap and dump out the product like I hate that because sometimes you dump more product than you what you really need and then you have to put it back so I feel like a pump really controls how many um, foundation you actually want on your face. Um, so I'm going to be applying it um, half and half with a beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques. And then my Sigma um, Flat Kabuki Brush, the F80, to apply on the other side. Um, just so I can really just see what I really like best. Normally I really like to use my beauty sponge for foundations, but lately I've also been loving my Kabuki Brush. Um, so we're definitely going to find that out today. Um, I pulled up the foundation online just to give you guys a little bit of uh, a description of the foundation. So it does claim that it's lightweight, waterproof, and pigmented AF. <laughs> Our new Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation hustles as hard as you do. Um, again, there's 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. Um, every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering a matte coverage. Um, and color that stays up true to 24 hours. Now, I'm not going to be wearing this foundation for 24 hours. Um, it does say that it, um, it also claims that our little overachiever also works to control shine, mattify your complexion all day long. The foundation is non comedogenic I always, I can't say that word. <laughs> um, and suitable for normal, oily, and combination skin types and for sensitive skin types. So they also came out with a primer, um, but I didn't see it at my local Ulta store, so I didn't pick it up. So I'm so sorry I'm not able to review that for you guys. So I'm just going to go into my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is the one that I've always used for actually two years straight. And I love it just because it does, I feel like my makeup does last a lot longer. I'm going to go ahead and do like two pumps like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the sponge first. And I think I'm going to do it on my right side first. So I'm just going to dip in there. All right, guys, so I think so far, I think the color matches me um, pretty good. So I am super impressed because I was kind of scared. I was like, oh, my God, it's not going to match me. Um, but in person, it actually matches me really good. Um, so, so far on the foundation, um, it does feel a little matte, but at the same time, it does feel lightweight, kind of like what they were talking about on the website. Um, but it does look matte. Um, but at the same time, it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel super heavy. Um, and I feel like it's definitely a buildable foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more pump here. And I'm going to build it up a little bit because I can still see a little bit of my redness here. Um, and let me just pat this in like that. That's way better. So you can definitely build up this foundation. Um, and it still doesn't feel like heavy or cakey. So now I'm going to go ahead and do two pumps and I'm going to use the Sigma Flat Kabuki, the F80. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just dip in here and start to buff it into my skin. All right, guys, so that is one layer using the Kabuki brush. I can still see um, a little bit of my redness, um, believe it or not, with using the brush. This normally applies a good amount of product, um, but I can still see my redness right there. So I'm going to go in with one pump again and just dip in my brush and just stipple that area right there. 
Okay, so this side is already applied with the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush, and this side was with the Beauty Sponge. And to be honest, you guys, I feel like I kind of like the Beauty Sponge a little bit more with this foundation. My Kabuki brush with my NARS foundation is freaking heaven. Um, but for this foundation, I just seem to really just really like my Beauty Sponge with it. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply my face. So my concealer and all that good stuff. But I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and just put on my face and I'll give you guys, um, or I guess I'll say goodbye to you guys. So I'll be back. Face is completely on. I went ahead and applied some lashes, brows, bronzer, all that good stuff. So I am actually looking at my face right now in person and it looks so pretty. Like it doesn't look super super matte i feel like my concealer and all my stuff that i applied on my face glided on so smoothly and so easy and actually you guys i feel like it does take a little bit to go completely matte the foundation because when i first applied it it didn't look like straight up matte matte like um i just kind of felt like it took a little bit because once i was applying my concealer i started to notice that the foundation started to get matte. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer too so you can see the foundation. Like, it looks really, really pretty. I am so obsessed with it right now, especially with a drugstore foundation and it's only 15 bucks. Heck yes. I'm gonna go ahead and keep you guys posted on this foundation and so stay tuned and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. One eternity later. Hi guys, so it's currently 9 p.m. already. I don't have my phone, it's downstairs, but I wanted to run up here really quick to my room and let you guys know my final thoughts on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. So the foundation, you guys, pretty much stayed on the whole day. Only thing that I'm noticing about this foundation is my nose. Right in the center of my nose, like just the center is really, really oily. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see the foundation. So as you guys can see, it looks really pretty still. Um, the, everywhere else, it looks so good. It didn't settle into my fine lines. The only thing is my nose. Um, I can literally just tap on it and the oil comes off. Ew. I'd say if you do have dry skin, I think you would be okay with wearing the foundation. Um, definitely give it a try. Um, try your best to kind of test it out in stores um, or try to see if you can get a sample. But, but yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say. I, I really like the foundation. If you guys like it too, please let me know if you tried this in the comments down below. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Let's get a mucho. Bye. Bye.